what are signals in angular in angular signals can refer to multiple things here are a few examples of signals in angular rxjs observables in angular the most common way to handle asynchronous events and signals is by using rxjs observables an observable is a stream of events that can be subscribed to by any component or service that needs to react to those events an observable can emit different types of values including strings numbers and objects and can be used to represent user input http requests or any other asynchronous event in the application angular event emitters angular components can emit custom events using the event emitter class an event emitter is a special kind of observable that can emit events and be subscribed to by other components or services event emitters are commonly used to communicate between child and parent components or to notify other parts of the application about changes in state ng zone the ng zone service in angular provides a way to run code outside or inside the angular zone the angular zone is a mechanism for detecting and triggering change detection in the application running code outside the zone can improve performance but it can also lead to issues with change detection not working as expected ng zone provides a way to handle asynchronous events and signals in a way that ensures change detection is triggered appropriately signal r signal r is a library for building real time web applications that can be used in angular signal r provides a way for the server to push data to the client without the client needing to make a request This can be used to build real-time features like chat applications or live dashboards. Overall, signals play an important role in Angular applications and there are multiple ways to handle them depending on the use case. RxJS observables are the most common way to handle asynchronous events. while angular event emitters and ng zone are used for more specific use cases